Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted a letter B. And if I understand them right correctly, they want to engrave out a indention into the first letter and then glue a smaller letter in that indention so it'll kind of stand out and so it will be a tighter fit. So we're just going to do this real quick. I'm going to left click, right click, I'm going to get a hairline. Then I'm going to go to effects and I'm going to go to contour and I'm going to contour to the inside. Let's say um, 0.125, see what that looks like. That's a little bit too big. Let's go um, 0.1. That's still not connected there. And this isn't her B or their B. So let's go 0 0.08. Let's go 0 0.06. That'll work. Then go up to a range, break contour apart, and take out your center part. Now, before you do that, what I would do is make a duplicate of this. Let's see, this thing is three inches, so let's change our nudge factor to four. Let's control D and make a duplicate of that and move it over. Let's take the smart fill tool and fill in this B. That's going to be your raster part. Now we've got this broken apart. Let's move the inside away and let's contour to the outside 0 0.003, three one thousandths of an inch. It's just a minute little contour. I'm going to that's what I would suggest starting at. I'm going to point it in point zero zero five. That is going to be your your kerf. So when the laser cuts it out, it'll fit in there a little tighter. Then go up to a range, break contour part. Let's change that color to red. Because we want the outside one. So the inside is red. That way you'll know which one you've got. And we've got our B with the outside contour. We're going to go and change it to red. We can actually get rid of this B now. And then I would nudge that B back over. Doesn't really matter. But then I would take your, put it in your laser. And I, and I don't know if you're going to cut out the first B, but that's what it would look like. This would be your raster. So this is going to be the, the well that it's going to fit into. And you're going to have to play around with that. It won't take very much if you want it to stand out. And then this is going to be your cut piece of wood. So just make sure it's a red hairline. So cut that out, raster, and cut this one out if that's what you're wanting. I do this all the time with mother of pearl type product. It's real thin. So if you're using like eighth inch wood, uh, you know, maybe run it at 70 speed or 60 speed at 100 power, you get you some depth. And this should fit right down in it when you make it with your other piece of wood. Can't really see that over the black, but it is, uh, it will work. And the reason for that contour is, when you cut something with a laser, it takes wood away. Anything you cut, I don't care if it's a table saw, a bandsaw, or the laser, it's going to take a minute. So if you if you contour it just a little bit to the outside and make that piece just a hair bigger, it will fit in there snugly. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.